Hey guys, about to go into the first round of a triple Ravnica draft. Uh, we drafted a Selesnya deck, although it's basically mono green. That's how open green ended up being. I guess at the same time, white wasn't super open, so we didn't get a ton of that. But we got some. We got a Selesnya Evangel, for example. All right, well, I think this is a keeper. Um, you know, we have one of our own our hand, and it's not one I love, but... We're sort of low on playables, and it, that's, you know, ended up in our deck. But the Karyatid's quite good, especially against more aggressive decks, which looks like what we might be dealing with. There's our Evangel, so we're going to want white soonish. We take one from that little guy. All right. Yeah, we didn't get any of those, I don't think. Okay. We don't have the best Fist of Iron Wood target right now. Our deck, namely, especially our two Bramble Elementals. But yeah, our Karyatid will come down and be able to block against a Boros deck for quite some time, I think. Um, this might be a Sky Knight Legionnaire, though, which can fly over our heads and, yeah. We didn't end up with a whole lot of flyers ourselves, so. I guess still play the Karyatid here. It actually blocks better than the Safeguard right now. Safeguard's at least not a horrible target for Fists of the Ironwood. We can scatter the seeds soon, too, which, you know, will allow us to start, you know, being aggressive. So that's pretty good. Um, I think probably what we want to play now, because oh, we don't have that much mana. <laughs> that seems a problem. Um, okay, so do we just play the safeguard? Can't block either of these things well, which is annoying. Um, but I guess he'll be, eh, eh. I mean, scattering the seeds might just be better at this point. That's probably. Right, we go to 12. And yeah, we do not have any way to deal with that flyer. And that's kind of a problem, especially because we ourselves didn't get the quickest start ever. So I'm going to play the Bramble. Oh, that was bad. Play this Bramble Elemental. We'll put Fists of Ironwood on it uh, next turn. I mean, even if he has mana up, it's pretty hard to take down a Bramble Elemental in his colors. Okay. So this gives us four saplings, which will let us scatter the seeds like hardcore. We also do so on the off chance that he has some way of uh, like killing this in co with combat, we may be able to save it with gather courage. But yeah, it's unfortunate for us. All his creatures have first strike right now, so our saplings can't even take them with him. All right. A centaur safeguard. It still gives us plenty of scatter the seeds action. Also can gain us some life, which could be relevant uh, in the near future. We can at least use gather the cur gather courage to like take down one of his uh, these if we swing with everything too. Okay, so he's gonna take down probably my centaur safeguard. Could be a sapling though. 
Yeah, he takes down my safeguard. All right. We go back up to 13 at least. Okay. This time we're going to remember to scatter the seeds, I promise. So... Scatter the seeds. Well, they're still like highlighted for some unknown reason. Um, all right. I think attacking with everything here seems pretty reasonable, especially because, well, maybe we leave like one sapling back. He's probably going to try to triple block, and I can use uh, Gather Courage to save my Bramble Elemental. I'm not exactly sure why they're all highlighted weird like that, but... All right. Let's see if he has... If he has Burn here, we're obviously going to be a little sad, but... We'll give this a shot. Ooh. That definitely went our way, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're finally, we're all of a sudden ahead in this game, thanks to Scatter the Seeds. Um, and we'll play our Safeguard. All right, we won that one. Yeah, getting the huge number of saplings and having that gather courage at the right time definitely was punishing for our opponent. That's the thing with those Boros decks is they really are kind of, you know, he got out to a really quick start. Like we were at 10 on like, I don't know, turn four, but we stabilized, gained three life. Gaining three life was a big deal against that deck. Um, did we get the, there's one of these that, there's a uh, Selesnya card that can gain you life. Dryad's Caress. Uh, just so expensive. <laughs> I mean, we already have three Centaur Safeguards. That's kind of a nuisance for our opponent anyway. And Benevolent Ancestor is quite good against him right now, too. So, yeah, I mean, I think we just roll this deck back out there. Um, we didn't see anything we want to hit with that. So on we go. Okay, this is another pretty good one. Don't have one of our big beaters to help us win, but we do have some early game. Um, we can. This is our only flyer, basically. We can make it into a flyer, and we got fists and scatter, so we actually have our white this time too. So we're pretty happy with that. I mean, if we have to, we can always put Fists of Ironwood on Transluminant, which isn't the sexiest, but hey, Sapperlings, Sapperlings are pretty key for us. Right. Boros Garrison. Let's see if we see another one of those Sky Knights just. So our safeguard may actually be a better target, although with these one one first strikes, that's pretty annoying. I mean, our safeguards are sort of bad against him, and if it weren't for the fact that gaining life is like a huge deal against a deck as aggressive as this one. I probably would have taken it out, but all right. We'll take two.
All right, we got both our Gather Courages. Um, I will swing with Transluminant. And I think I'll just play the Safeguard here. Opponent probably thinks we're mono green, and we almost are, so he's not super wrong. We can use Gather Courage to help him take down a 1 1 first striker if we have to, but that'd be better to do after we give him Trample. <laughs> Definitely. Signet. Yeah, he's going to take that guy down, but like last time, we get to gain life. So we go up to 21. We will take three, go back and going back down to 18. Hey, Bramble Element. On casting um, uh, Fists of Ironwood, if I wasn't already basically planning on it. Here, I mean, I could swing for two. He'll swing back at me for three, four, for four. Or I could just cast Scatter the Seeds and double block and double block. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to attack with that if my Transluminant's back, or with this if my Transluminant's back. So, yeah. I think we, we sort of stay back and use Gather the Seeds here, um, which will then make, you know, again, we're going to be pretty happy, I think. I mean, we could also, like, sacrifice this to get a 1-1 and then Gather Courage it, but that doesn't seem like the biggest payoff right now. So I'm just going to end my turn. My opponent is down to two cards, which is good for us. Well, we have tons of cards left. So you just swing for two, I'm guessing. Yes. Well, we will take it. Oh, right. Uh. Okay. Now I think I feel pretty good just attacking with Transluminant. I'm going to play Bramble Elemental this turn, obviously, but first I'll swing with my Transluminant. Right, drops into 16. Then we play our big Bramble Elemental. I mean, I'd prefer for him to tap out here so I can feel good about casting Fists of Ironwood. All right, we go to 14. Well, now I have two of them at least. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to cast Fists here, see if he can do something about it. All right. This is the ki right kind of matchup for us. Like an aggressive deck that can interact. Like we're been able to tell. Like we can just sort of, you know, deal with it. Uh, because we eventually just do stuff like this and just sort of shuts the deck down.
Yeah, this is a combo I distinctly remember. Like, very first time I drafted Ravnica, like, a decade ago. So, feels good to do it again. We're going to attack with both of those. We have Gather Courage ready if we need it. Want we do. Um, the question now is whether I play a second Fist of Ironwood. The reason I don't want to is because he could have easily sighted in a card that, uh, the card that does one damage to all creatures. So, if he has that, I'd rather, you know, be able to Fist of Ironwood and, you know, get this guy back, uh, you know, put four sapperlings back in play. So I think I'm just going to hang back. Next turn, I think we can basically swing with everything because we have two Gather Courages, so... It'll make our lives pretty nice. All right, two. We take it. Hmm, all right. Um, so we can swing back at us for five. Plus, we can make more sapperlings at the later part of our turn if we need to. So I'm going to swing with everything here. See what our opponent has for us. Good old sapperlings. All right, looks like he may have something. Okay. Still not sure. Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens here. We obviously have two Gather Courages to sort of solve our problems. Six, so... Yeah, he's going to be sad. <laughs> okay, uh... We have two Gather Courages, so we're going to be able to make him an 8-8, eight, eight, crush both of these. He'll take six. So So 6-6. Six, six. And up to 8-8. Eight, eight. So he slams in for 7. 6. But either way, it's lethal. All right. Against our first opponent. Hard to see us going deeper than one round, though, unless we just keep ending up against uh, other decks that just don't have a whole lot of interaction. Like, this deck just didn't have huge bombs. Like, our deck can handle... You know, big. You know, an opponent playing a bunch of aggressive creatures because somewhere around the middle of the game, we just start to flood the board with sapperlings, and it worked out that way for us. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in round two. Maybe we can we can win there too. Uh, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more.